Hello YouTube, how's it going? There has been a massive amount of attention revolving around the Super Mario Bros. 3 100% world record, mainly due to Summoning Salt releasing a video with the history of the 100% speedruns and world records of Mario 3. If you haven't seen it, make sure to go check it out. It's really, really in depth and surprise, I'm in it. This increase in popularity for the 100% run has made a lot of people question and ask like, what is it about the record that, that can be beaten? Like, are there tricks you didn't do in the world record? Where can you save time? We saw that world seven split that you got. You got a gold, you save like 17 seconds. Where else can you save time? Well, for starters, if we go back and look at the world five, we can see that I got a lot of really bad hammer brother movements uh, right at the start. You, you can hear it. I'm already yelling about the four movements of four right at the start of the world. And I mean that if you get movements of one, that's already like four or five, maybe six seconds time loss. And that that is just gross. But you guys already know that stuff. What are some of the things you guys don't know that can happen in the 100% run that really is going to start saving us some time? So. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at some of the time saves about pushing 100% even further. Uh, what are you doing in my video? Get back where you came from. Hey, what about my world? Yeah, what's wrong with it? You look like something from a children's game. That is not true. Hero Wars has vibrant graphics, cool gameplay, and a user-friendly interface. Well, all right then, let's give it a try. Yeah, tell them more about it. Hero Wars is a free-to-play mobile game that captures the rich atmosphere and hardcore gameplay of those old-school RPG games. You can raid menacing bosses along with your friends or guildmates and discuss battle synergies and strategies as you go, which I personally think is the best thing that you can do. Playing with friends is amazing. You also have heated PvP battles for the number one position on the leaderboard and to get loot. It has six modes to offer, from a single-player story campaign and cool titan battles to exciting expeditions and roguelike tower. In Hero Wars, the community is massive. You can join a friendly community of over a hundred million people to learn new tips and tricks from veteran players. The Hero Wars developers are giving away a digital collector's edition that include five top tier heroes, 600 emeralds, and 30,000 gold and more. Hero Wars kind of has it all. It's got the RPG old school elements. It's got the build your classes, play with communities, do single players. I mean, all around, it's just a great game for road trips, being at home you can play it on the desktop you can play it on mobile if you click the link in the description or scan the qr code you can start playing hero wars right now thank you first thing we're going to look at is the jesus clip in world 5 those of you who don't know what jesus clip is is it's essentially a clip that you do in the world 5 port 2 and if you hit the clip, you could save about three seconds. I think it's like, if you perfectly time it, it might be like 2.9 or like 3.1. It's not exactly three seconds, but if you miss the clip, you die. Um, let me just show you guys exactly what it looks like. Here, take a look. So I'm sure a lot of you have seen Jesus Clip before, but that's essentially what the trick is. It relies heavily on subpixels for it to work, and there's not really a good way to subpixel manipulation. So you just kind of pray and hope for the best that you get the clip. Normally, you don't do it on a very good run, but that is definitely something I have been going through lately with my World 5s, where I don't get the best Hammer Brother luck, but then I'm forced to do Jesus Clip to kind of save the run. Sometimes we get it, sometimes we don't. But let's take a look at Jesus Clip and the normal strat side by side and see exactly how much time it saves and loses in comparison. Now, door three. You guys already know about this one. You saw it in Summoning Salt's video, so it needs no introduction, but let's just, for anyone who doesn't know, let's take a look at what door three is. Now, door three is a really cool trick, and you feel really cool when you pull it off. It is a single frame trick, although the problem is, is it's coming from a black screen transition, so there's no audio cue and there's no visual cue. It is deceptively tough, but like the other strat with Jesus Clip, let's compare the two side by side and see what kind of time save we're dealing with. Yeah. 
After all of these years avoiding doing door three and runs, now don't get me wrong, lots of runners have been going for door three, especially on failed runs, and there was a while where I was going for door three in a lot of my runs, but with it being so tough and inconsistent, it's very easy to shy away from it and get turned off. I have decided now that I can no longer do that, and with the way the 100% record is, we have to start going for door three. So if you've been tuning into my daily streams, then you would know that I have been going for door three almost nonstop and I've been constantly practicing it. We are gonna push Mario 300% into a new era where door three is now the norm. We can no longer be scared of it anymore. Oh, this next trick is hell. It is called 2-2-P two, two, speed. Now, you can normally get P-speed in 2-2 two, two if you take damage. It's very easy. I've explained it before. But keeping your Fire Flower and getting P-speed is a no-joke strategy. It is easily one of the hardest strategies in the game. It is like sub-pixel dependent. You have to shoot your fireball like one frame, which means you have to release the button one frame and repress. It's super tough to do. And you have to jump at the bush like pixel Perfect. Let me show you guys what it looks like and then let's do the comparison. That is another massive time save just for one level and that early in the run. How can I shy away from it? How can I say no to such a big time save? Well, one of the biggest problems is that it creates a lot more resets. So as the runs get harder and harder, that can cause a lot of fatigue in the runner and even you guys as the viewers. So do I make the compromise anymore? I don't think I can. The concept of 100% used to be get as many runs to 7-7 as you possibly can and hope that 7-7 works and then you're good. But now I have to change the way I'm thinking. I have to save as much possible time as I can before I get to 7-7. Seven, seven. So when I do get to 7-7, seven, seven, I don't have to do it perfectly. I am hoping that we're gonna get to the point where I can get 7-7 seven, seven third try and still world record. That is something I've been trying to go for, but things like 2-2, two, two, Jesus Clip, and Door 3 so far are things that are gonna be helping. I mean, if you have, let's just say an estimate, three seconds Jesus clip, three seconds door three, and what, two seconds there? Come on, that's eight seconds right there. I think this is where most of you are like, yeah, we already know about those tricks. Uh, what else you got, Mitch? Well, I have actually actively been teaching myself and getting comfortable with adding in two more off-screen wand grabs. That's right. Normally, RTA runners can only do off-screen wand grabs in worlds two, four, five, and seven, those four worlds. But lately, I've been trying to do off-screen wand grabs in worlds one and in worlds three. And I know a lot of you watch my task playback, so let me show you what that's gonna look like RTA. Let's take a look. I'm not gonna lie, it took me a while to get it in my recordings and just something like that can save it. That one is at least three seconds, I wanna say. There's actually a lot to digest here. Number one, we're gonna compare the two differences of the levels with um, when the king grabs the wand because it gets a good idea of how much time it saves versus how much time it loses. Normally off-screen wand grab is four second time save. Now that's when you kill the boss normally, but in world one, it's kind of a double-edged sword. If you look closely, you can see I killed both the bosses at actual different times. So world one costs about one second to set up for the off-screen wand grab, whereas in other worlds, it doesn't cost any time. So unfortunately world one, it's like a three second time save. So world one is like kind of worth it, obviously. I mean, you're still getting off-screen wand grab, but not as much as the other worlds. This one one is not something I go for overly often, mainly because of like the little time loss, but the setup is often awkward and it's right at the start of the run. It's really weird to start off with a big positive on your splits. World three shouldn't be as much as a time loss because normally when you do the aggressive kill on the boss, you actually get a stomp and some uh, fireballs in on her. Normally off-screen wand grabs don't work in a run, but if you could get three off-screen wand grabs, that can almost be 12 seconds alone just with those three off-screen wand grabs. If I stay true to what I'm doing, every run is gonna have door three. So it's possible we could have one off-screen wand grab in worlds one, two, and three with door three, it's just insane the amount of time that these can save. Aside from everything else, I mean, if I get bad hammer brother movements, sometimes 
even time saves from these tricks, they're gonna go unnoticed. There are a few little things that I can save time here and there, like the clips in 7-9. Everyone knows about the clips in 7-9. I could start doing the clips in 7-9. I didn't get P-Speed and Hand Trap 2 as well. That can bring back another second if I can get that. I mean, you could even do Bowser's Basement where in any percent no wrong warp, you actually have to do that to get the world record. It's where you use the star, go into the basement section of Bowser's Castle, get the wall jump and the clip. I mean, technically that will save time. Odds are you're probably not gonna wanna do that at the end of your run if you're on world record pace. But these are the things that we need to start pushing ourselves if we want to start getting these crazy runs. Because right now, the safe, calm strategies with just the basic clips that we normally do with 7-7, it's just not really going to cut it anymore. We have to start digging deep for like new time saves. There's another little time save in World 7 Piranha Plant 1, where normally you equip the star and going into your inventory takes about one second. But if you don't equip your star and go to the Piranha Plant stage, you can actually save probably like half a second doing it. Now, doing the level like that is a little bit slower than if you use the star but the amount of time it takes just equipping your star makes that trick a little bit more viable now it's a little hard because if you take damage you're gonna have to cloud the fort use the p-wing go back to the fort it's just gonna be more menuing and more map movements so it's kind of a little frustrating and it's a little scary to do near the end of your run but those are the little things that we need to start adding in that is the main bulk of time save that i have been trying to save during my morning streams when i'm going for world record attempts there are a couple other things that I am working on, but I'm not ready to really talk about them because I'm not even sure some of them are time saves. I need to work on them a little bit more and see how I feel about some of these things. Um, aside from that though, I hope you guys all enjoyed uh, the little deep dive into how we have to transform 100% because it's no longer baby strats anymore. Not that they ever were, but I think you know what I mean. If you really, really want to catch me streaming this live, you can see my Twitch name right here. Whee! there's my twitch name if you go there on twitch and give me a follow you can catch me almost every single morning except fridays we are constantly grinding world records going for door threes jesus clips off screen wand grabs getting trolled by hammer brothers we give things away we just have all around a good time thank you guys so much for watching and i i really hope you learned something and you look forward to these future world records thank you so much and have a good day just one last reminder, thank you so much Hero Wars for sponsoring this video. And if you would like to start playing right now, don't forget to click the link in the description below or scan the QR code and you can get playing right now. Thank you everyone.